Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking a side-by-side -side look at the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro. Now let's start with the iPhone 13. It comes in five different colors. This is the blue. It is a really, really pretty blue. It also comes in starlight, midnight, pink, and red. The iPhone 13 Pro only comes in four colors, with this being the Sierra Blue. It's a very light blue, a lot lighter than the iPhone 13 Blue. It also comes in silver, graphite, and gold. You can see right away that the biggest difference of the two, two phones are the camera systems, and we will get to that in a second. Now let's talk about the actual phones itself. The phones itself are the exact same size. They are both 5.7 inches in height and 2.82 inches in width. The iPhone 13 regular is 6.14 ounces, with the iPhone 13 Pro being just a little heavier at 7.19 ounces. Both the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro have a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR display. The Pro has it with ProMotion. Both have super fast downloads, high quality streaming, all with 5G. Both phones have the ability to have Face ID to open up the phone with your face. Now let's talk about the battery. The battery on the iPhone 13 has up to 19 hours of video playback. The battery on the iPhone Pro has up to 22 hours of video playback, so the battery on the iPhone Pro is a little bit better. They both have a ceramic shield front, and the iPhone Pro has a surgical grade stainless steel, and the iPhone 13 has an aerospace grade aluminum. Both have a water resistant up to depth of six meters in up to 30 minutes underwater. Both are compatible with the MagSafe accessories and wireless charger. So let's talk about the price. The price on the iPhone 13 starts at $799, depending on how much storage you would like. And the price on the iPhone 13 Pro starts at $999. Now there is a difference in the iPhone storage on these two phones. The iPhone 13 is available in 128, 256, and 512 gigabytes. While the iPhone 13 Pro comes in 128, 256, 512, and one terabyte. So you can get more storage on the iPhone 13 Pro. Now both the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro have A15 Bionic chips. The iPhone 13 Pro has a new six core CPU with two performance and four efficiency cores. And the iPhone 13 has a new six core CPU with two performance and four efficiency cores. The iPhone 13 Pro has a fi new 5-core GPU, while the iPhone 13 has a new 4-core GPU. Now let's talk about the two camera systems on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro. The iPhone 13 has the most advanced Pro camera system. There are quite a few differences between the cameras, and this is what makes the two cameras different. So let's go ahead and start with the iPhone 13. Now the iPhone 13 has a dual 12 megapixel camera system with a wide and ultra wide lens. The wide lens has a 1.6 aperture and the ultra wide lens has a 2.4 aperture. It has a two time optical zoom out and a digital zoom up to five times. Now right away you can see the difference on the iPhone 13 Pro. This Pro has a 12 megapixel camera system with a telephoto wide and ultra wide lens. So you're gonna get the extra telephoto lens on the iPhone Pro. The telephoto lens has a 2.8 aperture, a wide lens of a 1.5 aperture, and an ultra wide lens of a 1.8 aperture. Has night mode, it has a three time optical zoom in, a two time optical zoom out, a six time optical zoom range and is digital zoom up to 15 times. So as you can see, this has the zoom up to 15 times while the regular iPhone has a zoom up to five times. So definitely a big difference in the cameras. So the, the main differences is you get the extra lens on the iPhone Pro, which is the telephoto lens. You get more zoom out and zoom up as well. Both cameras have a cinematic mode for recording videos, which as you can see here, looks fantastic. It blurs the background while keeping the subject in focus, and it's really a great cinematic um, feature for this phone. They both have 4K video recording at 24 FPS, 25 FPS, 
30 FPS or 60 FPS. So the video recording is very similar. So let's go ahead and show you a side-by-side -side of the cameras on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro. Here's where the telephoto lens is really gonna come into play. Now I'm in standard photo mode. They both have one-time um, zoom, so that's just your regular photo. Then you can zoom out for a wide shot on both cameras. Both cameras have that wide shot capability. Now the difference is the iPhone Pro gives you a three-time zoom in with the telephoto lens in the fo photo mode. The iPhone 13 does not have that capability. Now, if you go over here to the portrait mode, they both have the regular camera with portrait, but the iPhone Pro has the ability to do a three-time telephoto zoom in. So I do like that option. The iPhone 13 does not have this telephoto lens, so it doesn't have the three times option. Now, if you go over here to the video option, they both have regular video recording at one times. They both can zoom out for a wide shot at 0.05 times, so that's a, a great option. But the iPhone Pro has that three times telephoto lens even in video, so you can zoom in to get a closer shot. Now if you go to cinematic video recording, they both have regular video recording, but the iPhone Pro, again, takes advantage of the telephoto lens and has a three times zoom in for the cinematic video recording to get even closer to your subject. They both have slow-mo, and the slow-mo, again, telephoto lens comes into play. You have a wide angle and a one times regular slow-mo video. And over here, you do have the three times telephoto lens for a slow-mo shot that up close. Both have time lapse, again, using the telephoto lens on the Pro to give you a closer shot. And those are all the great options of the, the cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13. While there are a lot of similarities between the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro, there are quite a few differences as well, including things like this one is a little bit heavier due to the camera. Um, they are the same size though, and the iPhone 13 Pro does have the option to get more storage in a one terabyte. Now, the main difference comes down to the camera. If you are a photographer or really you're looking for the best camera system between these two, definitely the iPhone 13 Pro is the way to go. It gives you the extra tele photo lens. Um, so definitely a better camera system with more capabilities of the iPhone 13 Pro. If the camera is, if a telephoto lens is not really important to you, definitely the price savings on the iPhone 13 is the way to go. So definitely you have to think about, do you need a terabyte of storage or um, is 512 gigabytes good enough, which is a lot of storage. Um, definitely comes down to the camera. When choosing between these two phones, you're going to choose one over the other based on price or camera. So that is our side-by-side -side comparison of the iPhone 13 versus the iPhone 13 Pro. Leave us a comment. Let us know which one would you get if you had a choice and what is your favorite color? Um, these are the two blues side-by-side, -side, but there's other colors as well. Um, so leave us a comment. Let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.